So, in this example, we're going to find out if the velocity potential exists, i.e. if the flow is irrotational, and then if so, to find the potential function based on this expression for the velocity field. So in the first part, we're looking for Z component of vorticity. <coughs> so zeta Z is equal delta V for delta X minus delta U for delta Y. And in our case, we have delta V per delta X is zero, delta U per delta Y is zero, so we can say the flow has potential. Now we need to find it from the definition that U is delta phi per delta X and V is delta <coughs> phi per delta Y. We'll first use the first equation and say that delta phi per delta x is ax plus b from which we can integrate and say that phi is integral of ax plus b dx equals to A, a, a x half uh, squared half <coughs> plus b x plus essentially constant with respect to x, but we basically leave it as some function of y only, because any derivative would make this zero, and then we plug that in into the other equation, saying that delta psi, uh, delta phi for delta y, which is v, which is c at minus a y plus c, is equal to, so the derivative of this function phi with respect to y is just f prime y. And from there, we say that f of y is integral of minus a y plus c dy and uh, this is a lowercase c, this is not a constant I mean this is a constant but not an integration constant so in this case, we have minus a y squared half plus c y plus c one. This is now the integration constant. And then now we put basically these two things together. We plug in the f y of y into the upper uh, expression to get to the final solution that phi is equal a x squared minus y squared or half plus bx plus cy plus c1 and this is now the solution to our problem.